everybody. Repeat after me. Cat, cow, mouse. Very good. Rather than simply going through your flashcards, spice things up with these 10 fun flashcard games that you can use with your students. Stay tuned. If you are an ESL teacher teaching online or teaching in a real classroom setting, consider subscribing for more teaching related videos. Put the flashcards on the floor or on the table facing down. Students take turn to flip two flashcards. If the flashcards are off the correct pair, then you can reward the student and the student will leave the flashcards facing up. If the cards are not of the correct pair, then the student will flip the card back. This works for all ages and different levels. This is a great game to practice listening and their memory. In this game, have the students sit in a semicircle. Go over the vocabularies with them and put them on the floor. The teacher chooses a word and whisper to the first student. The student will then relay the word to the next student and so on. The last student must run and pick up the flashcard and hand it over to the teacher. You can rotate the children for all of them to be able to have the chance to pick up a card. If you have a huge group, then consider dividing them into smaller groups. Scatter the flashcards in a circle, making sure that you have at least one per student. Play a fun and lively music and have the students dance around the circle in one direction. When the music stops, the students will pick up a flashcard and hold it up in the air and then ask them to say the word they have. For variation, the teacher will call out one flashcard and will say, who has the cat? Whoever has the cat will hold it up in the air and say, I have the cat. Stick the flashcards on the whiteboard and again repeat the words to the students. Rearrange the cards and ask a student to come and arrange it back in the correct order. This game is best suited for teaching ABCs or your numbers. Paste the flashcards on the whiteboard and repeat the words with the students. Teacher will say the word and ask one student to throw a paper ball or a bean bag to the flashcard. Almost all the kids love throwing stuff. Mix the cards and place them on the floor. Students will take turn to pick two cards that are related to each other. For example, A for apple, yellow for sun. Orange for orange. Show and teach the cards to the students. Then hide the cards from the students and ask one student to come and pick one card which he or she will act out. Then the rest of the class will have to guess the word. Place two or three flashcards on the table. Then ask two students to come to the side of the table facing each other. The teacher says a word and the students will raise to slap the correct flashcard. This is a group version of the memory flashcard game. Place one set of flashcards on the left and the other set of flashcards on the right. Ask a student to come forward and turn over a card from each set. If the flashcards match, then they can keep the flashcards facing up. If the flashcards don't match, then they have to flip it down and the next players will have their turn. Show and teach the flashcards one by one while putting the flashcards down on the floor or on the table. Repeat the words slowly together. Then gather up the cards and remove one. Place the flashcards back on the floor and let the students guess which card is missing. For a variation, ask a child to come in front and pick a card to hide. All right, so I hope this video is helpful. And if you like my shirt, I'm a teacher, what's your superpower? I will leave the link in the description. All right, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.